everybody, welcome to Clearwater Music Center. I'm your host, Sam, and today we're showing off a really cool instrument that came in for some repairs. This is a Carol Brass CTR5060L. It's a really cool horn. It's an ML bore, reverse lead pipe, silver plated as you can see. It comes with a spare tuning slide in this bag with some foam to protect it. You can see the one on the bottom is the stock tuning slide. It's a little bit more squared off at the end, and this one is a little bit more rounded for looser slots and, you know, commercial and jazz type music. It's really cool. Uh, attributes of note include these inlays on the finger buttons, which are really, really nice when the light catches them just right. It's not your classic mother of pearl. It's something really, it's, it's darker and kind of glossier and really interesting stuff. Uh, nice ornate rings on the first and third slides. Water keys, as you expect, on the main tuning slide and third slide. And overall, this is a really enjoyable instrument to play. So Carol Brass as a company is one that I really admire because they seek to deliver high quality at a low price. There's a lot of companies that try to do that with varying degrees of success. If you know me, you'll know I play Packer instruments. I play a John Packer Cornet and a John Packer Euphonium. And those are both good options in terms of quality, bang versus buck, you know. Uh, and this, Carol Brass, is one of the most successful examples out there. Uh, a really big concern with cheap instruments is I'm not going to get good valves or moving parts. Oh yeah, these are nice. Um, a lot of companies that have their own, you know, smaller trumpet building businesses will actually import Carol Brass valve blocks because they are that good. Carol Brass have the best affordable valves out there, in my opinion, because that is definitely one of the faults of cheaper instruments is valves not being up to par, but just a little bit of oil on these and they will move faster than you need them to. So very cool in that regard. All the slides work nicely. Tuning slide, nothing too. Uh, nothing too shocking there, just in general, all the moving parts are really nice on this instrument, and that's something you cannot say about every cheap instrument. I want to talk playing characteristics and concede that this is not the best demonstration because I'm using a Vincent Bach 1 mouthpiece. I'm normally a one and a half ish player, so this is really, really wide. It's quite a pig of a mouthpiece. But in any case, I've tried this with a couple of mouthpieces, and no matter what, it really does put out a lot of sound. Honestly, if we combine the reverse lead pipe with a medium large bore, as opposed to, for instance, the medium bore a little bit tighter on my Yamaha Bobby Shoe, you really do get an ease of sound production on this instrument that really blows anything else out of the water at this price point, I would say. It's really, really just out there and bold, especially when you put the, the rounder tuning slide on for commercial type stuff. The trumpet just kind of does the work for you if you let it. Uh, it's one of those instruments where... Sure, you have to approach it just nice and calm, but if you give it the right approach, it really sings in the right hands, and it's a lot of fun to play. One thing I really want to point out on this instrument that surprised me is its clarity. The pitches are really right on the money, the slots feel firm, you can sit on them nice and easy. Um, bends are a little bit restrictive on the squared off tuning slide, but no matter which tuning slide you're using, you really feel like you're riding right in the slot on this horn, which is something you can't say about every single horn out there. And it's really cool, and I really want to give Carol Brass my props for that, because it's not easy to design an instrument like that, particularly when you've got a rounded, you know, commercial type slide that's supposed to loosen the slots a bit. Even then, you still feel pretty confident, you know, just sitting right on the pitch.
So once again, there's the Carol Brass CTR5060L. I'll put more information in the description. Once again, there it is, nice and silver plated. You got the Carol Brass logo there, sterling silver engraved on the lead pipe. Really, really cool horn if you're looking for a step up jazz horn. Even in an orchestra, this wouldn't go amiss. For solo work, it's great. Honestly, for anything I can really think of, this is an awesome choice for a high school player looking for a fairly professional horn on a limited budget. So once again, Carol Brass 5060L, Hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.